Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, and in this video, you're going to learn how to create a hypnotic spiral in Adobe Illustrator. Rightio, so I'm now in Illustrator, and first I'm going to select the Spiral tool. And I can click and drag to draw a spiral, and I can freely spin this around, and I can also hold Alt or Option and Control to adjust how the spiral looks. And whilst holding the mouse button down, I can also press the up and down arrow keys on the keyboard to add or remove segments to the spiral. And this is one way to create a spiral. If I just press the delete key to remove this, another way is to simply left click on the artboard, and then I can enter values for the radius, the decay, the number of segments, and then choose from one of two styles. And if you'd like to follow along, those are the values that I'm going to be using. So let's just hold shift and scale this up and then position this in the center. Once I've done that, I can make sure the spiral is selected, open up the stroke properties, and I can increase the stroke weight. Also go down to the bottom and I can select one of the presets for the profile. So in this example, I'm going to use one that starts thick and then becomes thinner at the other end. I can also click this icon to instantly reverse this. Next, I'm going to select the width tool from the toolbar. And then I can hover over a point on the stroke and then click and drag outwards to make it thicker or drag inwards to make it thinner. And you can see the point in the center is now very thin. So if I go and do the same for this one, I can thicken this up a little bit. Oh, not too much. Easy, Daniel. There we go. Much better. And you can actually use the width tool to make any point on the stroke thicker or thinner. So you can see here, I'm just going to have a play around and make this look absolutely terrible. And as you might expect, it creates a very peculiar profile. But I can also click this and just go back to one of the default presets. From the stroke properties, I can also select the cap type as round. This will round off those square edges and then I can adjust the stroke weight further. Lastly, if I select the spiral and then press R for the rotate tool and rotate this round, you can see it seems to move and the center doesn't stay in the same place. And there is a cheeky fix for this. Let's go over to the rectangle tool, click and hold and select the ellipse tool. I can now click and hold shift to draw a perfect circle, make this bigger than the spiral and in fact, I'm going to align this centrally to the artboard. I'm now going to try and position the tail of the spiral so it lines up with the center of that circle. And if I select the circle, you can see it marks the center with a blue dot. And you can see it's not quite lined up here. So with the spiral selected, I can now use the arrow keys to just nudge this into position. Click on that outer circle again and just check the blue dot lines up with the tail of the spiral. Next, from the property inspector, I'm going to drag the opacity all the way to zero for that circle. And then I can drag over both of these, right click and select group. And then if I select the rotate tool and rotate these around, you can see that center point stays in, well, the center. And if you'd like to go completely bonkers and have a bit of fun, try and do this as fast as you can until both of your eyes simultaneously fall out of your face. And I think I'll keep going. So there we go. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, you can always subscribe for more, ring the bell for notifications, and I'll see you next time.